Hey YouTubers, I want to show you some antique toys I've got. I do all the antique motorized bikes, but I've also got some peculiar toys. This little Rhea Express, R-E-A Express, was a company around here, around Louisville, Kentucky. It's got the spring suspension and still got the little sticker on top that tells you so. Then I've got a mail truck down below it that I bought at a yard sale. doesn't have the sliding door and it's really not terribly old although it does have the solid wheels they're not the ones that are dished out on the back so it's not super new either back here is a bunch of oddball stuff mostly down here needs repair this isn't old at all this is 90 99 i think now this is old friction drive cadillac but the roofs broke off so that hurts its value still got a price tag on the bottom that's an oldie but the better ones are up on the shelf up here. I've got an old white uh, dealer promotional white Mustang truck. And a uh, Structo that I had to make a grill for. Hated to, that white one. But uh, it was missing it. And I've got a bunch of little abstract plastic cars. Most places don't value them hardly at all. Though some of them are pretty rare. Some of them just are so obscure they don't look like anything that you would have ever seen. Now those trucks back in the back, that green one's supposed to be a 52 Ford. That's supposed to be about a 55 Ford, that red one. And a VW bus, there's no doubt about that. The, the pickup truck. Uh, a lot of them you can tell what they are. That little car is a Lotus. That's supposed to be a Jaguar. You can't really, it's not real obvious. But you can tell that yellow truck was a 48 to 50 Ford pickup truck. And uh, you can tell that little red one there's a 48 to 50 Ford by the grill. 55 Chevy pickup truck. Uh, I like that little cute green race car. By the lack of dust, you can tell it's one of the newer ones down here. <laughs> the longer they sit, the dustier they get. But uh, a lot of them, a lot of them are... Uh, that Mercury, it really threw me a loop. Back in behind it, you could see that little box back in behind the tire. I thought, oh boy, I found somebody's willed a, a gold mine in another state or something. No, I thought somebody had hidden some, something in it. And I took the little tabs and bent them loose and took the body off. And what it is, it's a bellows. And as the friction motor propels the car, a little arm matches a bellows and made it blow. Made a little horn squeak, but... Uh, I had to know, I had to take it apart to see, but the tabs didn't break, so it all went back together and you can't tell it's ever been apart. And some cute little tractors, the front end off of a neat old Tootsie toy truck, but it's broke off, so it's, like I said, they're nothing super special. A lot of them have issues. I worked for an oil company for 22 years, so I hang on to fuel oil trucks, just, just because it reminds me of the good old days, the ones that work. There's a GMC dump truck, that one with the gala front end is supposed to look like about a no, 50 GMC. Little something or another on top of it. I guess it's a Cadillac touching by the back end. There again, it's obscure. Got the three back windows, so it should have been a hard top, yet it's got a post. They weren't real accurate on this stuff. Uh, Buddy L Army truck without the tent or without the tarp over the top. A Dodge dump truck, that red one is plainly about us. One of them Dodges at uh, about a 68 or so. And a little, some of them have the faces of the people driving them <laughs> on the windows of the cars, like that Plymouth wagon back there. Supposed to be a 55 Plymouth wagon. It's got the man's face and the woman's face embossed on the glass. Cool. And then there's a little toy uh, motorcycle, Triumph motorcycle down there on the very end. Kid was helping me mow grass in 85. I uh, hadn't been here but two years. And he said, hey, look what I found. And I thought, yeah, he's found a bottle cap or something stupid. Came out with that perfect little toy. Been mashing the mud back in the backyard for God knows how many years. And damn if I didn't wash it, clean it up, and dropped it and broke one of the exhaust pipes off. I was mad enough to kill. But things like that happen. And there's a cool little race car with the open front fenders which makes no sense at all but the front fenders are cut away so you can see the white tires in behind it talk about abstract you got a little 
structo truck in behind there. It's supposed to be a Studebaker with, uh, I took some dowel rod and made some logs for it. But uh, that little Cadillac's got BB dents in the side of it where some kid dinged it with a BB gun. But it's all fun. Like I said, all this stuff down here isn't really the Cadillac, if the roof wasn't screwed up, would be a real keeper. The roof and the back bumper, the very corner of the bumper is missing on the right side, so pretty well messes its value up. None of that stuff's old, old. Maybe the Army tank thing might be, but uh, tank on a trailer, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it sits on an Army trailer. But... Uh, I had found an old house. I was working on a job where they were taking away dirt. And I had a single axle dump truck. Went in the old house, what they were using as an office, and inside was a window seat. I thought, you know what? I'm going to lift that seat up. I looked inside, and there was boatloads of old toys, stuff that made this look like junk. I asked a guy, that was my first mistake. I said, hey, what's going to happen with all them old toys? He said, what toys are you talking about? Well, that was the beginning of the end of that deal. He said, I'll check on them and I'll let you know. The next day I went back, 90% of them were gone. Some of this stuff was in it, but only things that were broke were in it. So if I'd have kept my mouth shut, I could have had them all because they pushed the house over. It was The property was worth way more than the house on the property, but uh, that's just the way that goes. I should have went on my instinct. There's a glow plug, brand new, champion box and all for a little uh, tether car, tank box and all, some lead, a uh, lead boxer and a lead uh, track, track figure, made out of lead, nice way to get yourself poisoned. Uh, they're brand new in the box, brand new condition I should say, I got them from Caulfield's novelty here in Louisville. My friend Kerry Caulfield owns it and he knew I was into toys and he gave them to me. There's an old Willard battery screwdriver with a four digit phone number so that's going back a ways. I think the end of that's been beat on just a little bit of time or two maybe. <laughs> kind of mushroomed. And a neat little pair of ignition pliers for getting to the nut that held points in cars back when the points hinge pin was fixed to the distributor and you had to reach down in and undo the the pin or the nut that held the grounding wire the ground out wire that is basically all points do is ground out the coil over and over and over as as the uh, breaker turns you had to undo that nut to get the spring arm off and take your points out and dress them and set them there's another i was about to forget f6 F60 fighter with a friction motor. There's my daddy on a 500 Triumph chopper that was a show bike and was actually inside a fenced in area down at Johnston's motorcycle shop in Butchel for years. Old man Johnston took a liking to the family that built that bike and kept it in an area where nobody could touch it. Kept it beautiful and polished and all that. But it was set up for, the girl was real short, so it was set up with a seat dug way down in and the handlebars real close together. So I stuck a tire tool in each handlebar and pried them out to a comfortable spot. Got them exactly the same bend and kind of retweaked the seat and everything. And shoot, it was a good looking old bike. But uh, daddy didn't ride them. He just knew I enjoyed it. And if I enjoyed it, he enjoyed it. So he sat on it and made for a good picture. My wife is in the framing, by the way. She framed a picture of my old Dodge dump truck. 60 Dodge, I worked for 31 years around Louisville. Everybody in this town seen it or loaded full of creek rock at one time or another, all the kids have. There's a little toy, probably. The values run because I had to paint it, but it was so boogered up, there was no paint left on it, and somebody had spray canned a bunch of paint other than the original on top, so it, it had to be stripped. And, changed up and I put that little uh, hand massager thing on it just just for looks no big deal but, uh, it's something to do something fun goes with all my motorbikes 
They're what get the attention. There's 22 of them down here. Everything from a kit called a Leighton, L-E-I-G-H-T-O-N, that I can't take credit for making because it was a kit that held on with two quarter inch, a uh, little bitty old quarter inch clamps held it to the center bar and the motor scooted in a trough. Not the, not the best setup in the world, but I made fun of it in another video, but really I've done cheesier rigging myself. So I guess I kind of spoke out of turn. It's not the worst. But you can tell it has no wear because you can see the the bronze bushings are perfect on the roller and the roller's perfect i bet this thing ain't got five tanks of gas ran through it they didn't have air filter on they just put a little deflector because they knew the seat post was going to be close by and manufacturers don't give a hoot but a uh, old old uh, lawson power products two cylinder motors gas tank on it that tanks worth more than the whole bike but it wasn't at the time there's my 60 rambler when i owned it the first time in 75 and i put the rear end under the springs and scooted it back two and a half inches so it wouldn't look like the wheels were tucked up in under like all them ramblers did they looked like somebody drove the rear end forward i put the rear end underneath the springs and put a 40 conoline straight axle in it sold it got it back in 95 Barbie framed all this stuff for me, or, you know, even she'd sneak stuff through. Well, it was her store. She didn't really sneak it through. She did it if she wanted to. That's after I got it back the second time, full of snake carcasses and all the parts. It was completely taken apart, motor stuck and everything, and I built it back up a second time. And thought about trying to buy it back a third time, but I saw it at the Street Ride Nationals in Louisville in uh, 2015, it was out at Street Rod Nationals for sale, and now it's red and white with 55 Chevy fake airbrushed trim on the side with white walls and still the gasser look, but uh, uh, they valued it more than I did. There's a picture Barbie painted of it in a watercolor class. She teaches watercolor to these elderly people at nursing homes to give them something to take their mind off their problems. So... Uh, Everything down here has got a story. Might be interesting to some of you, it might not. There's an article they did on my motorbikes back in 88 in the Courier Journal, the newspaper out here in Louisville. And there's one of them read between the lines and you'll figure what that's all about. There's Iron Horse. I've showed all this before, but not in the same video as the toys. So I'm getting up to about 13 minutes and I know people don't want to watch long videos so check me out on John Wade W-A-D-E YouTube or Wade Made Motorized Mayhem but actually John Wade YouTube will get you more of the videos. There's 42 videos but on one way that you pull them up it only shows 30, 31 I think and I don't know enough about it to know how to change all that. I've got boatloads of motor. I got a Sears bike bug. It is like brand new. There's no paint burned off of it. The rubber exhaust is still perfect. The clamps, everything's there except the gas in the tank. I want 150 bucks for it. It couldn't get any newer unless it was in a box with a price tag on it. There's an early Briggs and Stratton carburetor off of a one with uh, two flywheels, kind of like my FI back here on the shelf, but I think it was just an F. It might have been a one flywheel now that I think about it. And old Lawson up there with the carburetor on pipe threads and a little bitty bolt pattern on the bottom, a little tiny Lawson. And my Jacobson three horsepower front wheel drive with a five speed wheel that did have five gears back here in the corner. That was a bad dude. An invitation for a hospital trip but it's been detuned to its lowest gear intentionally because it was deadly three horse Jacobson off of a real type that I jumped out 30 40 years ago it was a it, it was scary and loud my goodness had a big old removable cleanable muffler you can take it apart and clean it and put it back together so uh, that ought to work John Wade's John Wade on YouTube, uh, appreciate you watching, goodbye.